Hi everyone, welcome back to Get A Brood. So today I'm going to approach this mainly at beginners. So if you're interested in making your own beer at home, if you're a novice, a beginner, you've totally no knowledge whatsoever on how to home brew, I would recommend Belgian beer kits from Brew Firm. There's lots in this category. So they have the wit beer saisons, blondes, right through to the, the more interesting, like even a cherry ale, raspberry ale, special belge, golden ale, um, even some English varieties, an imperial stout, English porter, and an IPA. If you've never homebrewed before, you're going to need some really basic brewing equipment. So I've got the Brew Firm basic starter kit here. It's got the basics. <laughs> excuse the pun, um, so you've got a capper, caps, sterilizer, bottle brush, a tap, um, airlock, bucket and a beer paddle to mix things up. So if you're not familiar with what a, is in a beer kit, this is um, 1.5 kg of liquid malt extract, so it's got um, isomerized hop solution already in it, which gives it the bitterness and hop flavor. Um, plastic cap just pops off and you can see that there's um, brewer strain of yeast. The good thing with the brew firm beer kits is that the yeast strains are selected for the different styles. It's not like other beer kits where there's a generic yeast strain that covers every different beer style that there is. Um, gonna be opened with a can opener and then little instructions here that you can read. One thing I wanna draw your attention to in the instructions is the chart that it has here. So the chart here uh, lists the different beer kits that there is and the recommend enhancers and then the literage of them starting gravity final gravity and the priming solution some of those things you've, you've maybe no knowledge of so starting gravity is the sugar content measured with a hydrometer which will tell you how much sugar is in the wort that you've created before you add the yeast final gravity is the gravity after the yeast has done its activity and you measure it again with a hydrometer and you can use an online calculator to work out the ABV if you've got your starting gravity and your final gravity. We've done videos on the channel on how to work that out. We've done videos on how to use a hydrometer and how to read one as well if you need assistance with those things. With the Brew Firm beer kits, the simplest enhancer to go for is dextrose. So one kg of dextrose is the format in which we sell it. Um, there is options to change those enhancers. We have Brew Enhancer 1, Brew Enhancer 2, um, we have spray malt, liquid malt. To give you an idea, um, Brew Enhancer 1 is a mix of dextrose and maltodextrin. Maltodextrin just brings extra body um, to the beer kit. Uh, Brew Enhancer 2 is maltodextrin, dextrose and spray malt. And then obviously there's the option if you want that fuller malt flavor that you would just use a kilo of spray malt or 500 grams, whatever dictates in the, the little chart. Don't want to complicate this. If you're starting out, go with a kilo of sugar as your um, enhancer. You'll not need, with most of these kits, you'll not need the full kilo. That'll leave you enough sugar to do the batch priming or bottle priming when it comes to packaging as well. So that's the Brew Firm beer kits. They all come in different um, styles with different yeast styles generic instructions for all. The one thing I would say about the, the beer kits is the styles are the reflective of good Belgian style quality beers packed full of flavor with nice yeasts that throw off those esters and fennels that you're looking for in the different styles. So they're not like your generic, um, you know, novelty beer kit. These aren't novelty beer kits. They come with a lot of thought so that you can make good beer. They also, vary in quantity from sort of 20 liters to some of them are nine liters so they're not the same as a lot of mass market produced novelty beer kits where they all produce you know 20 odd liters um, and they use the same yeast strain there is much more thought as went into these beer kits so this particular kit that we're going to do i have it um, just in some warm water it's the strong blonde obviously belgian blonde ale is very popular beer in belgium we're making a belgian beer kit so Okay, so we're gonna make a basic brew firm beer kit. Um, as with 
everything to do with brewing, make sure everything's sterile, make sure you read the information, and make sure your temperature controls are accurate. So SIT is the acronym of that. Um, there's fermenter here with a hole um, already created in it. You can see that there's a tap there with two seals. You just want to put one seal on one side and one seal on the other and screw that in nice and tight. So I've popped the tap on there, seal on either side. Good um, thing to do at this stage would be to do a water test to check that the seal is um, is intact so that you've got no uh, leaks that are going to pop up at a later date. So that is our fermenter setup. Um, been softening the liquid malt extract in some warm water, just aiming for it to be over 40 degrees or around 40 degrees, sorry, and um, that'll get the contents a little bit more viscous so that it pours in here nice and easily. Yeast is in the cap, instructions are there, and just an old school can opener. Just be careful, obviously it's sharp, like as with any tin, food tin that you're opening. So we'll take the, the lid off, take this into the center. You can see the consistency of this. It's, it's a liquid malt extract, so it's gloopy. So usually what I would do is I would take some um, boiling water, put it into a jug and then use that to rinse out the last of the liquid malt extract. It's just trying to get the final part of the contents out of the can. This strong blonde one is a 9 litre beer kit. So if you're making this at home, make sure you're paying attention to everything being nice and clean, including the utensils all cleaned and sterilized before you um, start to use it. Anything that touches this or is in this now at this stage, it's important that it's not um, picking up any microbes or contamination or any issues to spoil the beer or potentially spoil the beer. The aim of this kit obviously is a 9 litre kit, so there's a graduation mark here, I've just popped um, my finger in the front of it, I can see the shadow through from the side just because obviously we're filming. Summarise liquid malt extract in, first batch of water, you're going to need your enhancer, we discussed that in this particular occasion, we're going to use the dextrose, and uh, we're making the strong blonde, it's a 9 litre total and then 500 grams of dextrose as the brewing enhancer. Dextrose has been added, just give that a little mix and then top this up with cool water to the 9 litre mark. Okay, so Look, this is it's deadly simple. Um, if you keep in mind that everything needs to be sterile, um, read the basic instructions and temperature control if you can ensure that it ferments at a steady temperature um, and it's sterile, you won't go wrong. So you'll have seen this is really, really simple. We're um, doing this here in, in the little Getter Brewed studio. So we're restricted in that we don't have the tap right beside us and that we don't have um, perhaps the sink to wash things immediately beside us right now at this, this particular time. But you can see all I've done is softened the liquid malt. I've added it to the fermentation bucket Everything's been sterile um, before we began. We put the tap seal in. What we're doing is we're rehydrating that, using the sugar as an enhancer to get us to that starting gravity. You can check that starting gravity with a hydrometer. And then what you want to do is give it a really good stir like I've just done to get it all mixed up and get some oxygen in there for yeast activity. And then we take our yeast packet, again, making sure you're paying attention to ensuring that the scissors that's cutting it open or the knife that you're using is sterile and at the outside of the packet is sterile. So we've got the yeast here and just sprinkle it in over the top. So if you're completely new to homebrewing and you're wondering what I mean by sterile or cleanliness, um, it means using a good quality cleaner or sterilizer. You get one with um, the basic um, starter kit here from Brew Firm. You can buy one of the Get A Brewed starter kits. They all come with a sterilizing solution and simple to follow instructions to make sure that everything's clean. Bear in mind, 
if you've set a paddle down that it needs to be on a clean surface or it needs to be set in you know a jug something that it's it's not going to get contaminated for where it touches so sterilization is important because you don't want any bugs getting in there and affecting the yeast's ability to make a nice beer pop the airlock on the reason you use an airlock is it has this nice little bubbler here and it's quite a therapeutic sound once fermentation starts so we fill the airlock with some water aiming to half fill it with water and pop the little cap on us just to stop flies and stuff getting in what happens is the yeast eats the sugars that's in the wort and it creates carbon dioxide that will bubble out the reason you have the water there is to stop oxygen getting in and causing an infection so this is the start of fermentation so you want to keep this somewhere warm fermentation will take roughly five days for the yeast to eat up the uh, sugars and turn it into alcohol then you can take a sample from the tap to test it with your hydrometer to check when the beer is ready and then you can proceed to packaging you can either go for bottles so making sure the bottles are sterile and cleaned using the caps and capper um, or you can use one of the five liter maturing barrels that we sell um, the dosage rate on the priming is in the instructions for bottles and for the five liter maturing barrels and then it's just conditioning for one or two weeks and then you can enjoy the beer so that's the brew firm belgian beer kits and uh, we have the full range here at incredible pricing on the get a brewed website this is aimed at beginners there's loads of videos on our channel showing you how to do bottling how to do cleaning how to do all different aspects of brewing this is just an introduction if you've never brewed before it's a great way to get started with good results thanks so much for watching uh, please hit the subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when we release new content and until next time happy brewing